In 1989, the Berlin Wall fell, symbolizing the end of the Cold War. To be honest, I don't remember any direct uh, effects of it. It actually, there was more significance when the Soviet Union, so I was taking actually a Russian class at the time, uh, Russian language, and so we had to know all the names of the different countries and, and sectors making it the, the Soviet Union. When the wall between Berlin fell, the wall between Arlington and Prospect fell as well when Arlington High School closed in 1984. In the summer of 1984, Arlington High School closed its doors, allowing Prospect to obtain a larger amount of students for the 1985 school year. Market High School, which is the oldest high school in the district, um, and Prospect was the second oldest. We were huge rivals, friendly rivals, a lot of us went to junior high together. Uh, but there's a lot of concern about bringing together basically two high schools. We brought 85% of our class to Prospect. When Arlington High School closed, the district gave us a choice of going through Meadows, first year Prospect. And it was kind of a mistake for them to give us a choice because we got together at our junior class meeting with about these seniors and said we don't have to lose our senior year, let's all go to the same place. We did merge some colors. We brought Arlington colors over. We had red peas on our football helmets. We had a red stripe on our pants. Um, and we were red, white, blue. There was kind of a rivalry between the two schools. So all of a sudden you have these sort of enemies and then um, they're forced to sort of be friends. Although Prospect and Arlington students were enemies, it did not take long to unify as one and have high school spirit. School spirit was, was contagious and everywhere. Everybody, we used to put 3,000 people in a gym for a regular basketball game on Tuesday night in December. It wasn't just a playoff game or a championship game. We showed up in mass wearing our school colors, people had war paint on, and it came out. You know, our football games were packed. People attended the games. You couldn't, football games were packed, even though they weren't as good. <laughs> um, so people definitely went to things. The school spirit was really high when I was here. Students, however, were not just enthusiastic about prospect sports, but after the Bears' Super Bowl winning 85-86 season, there was Bears fever throughout prospect. Um, yeah, during that whole time, people were wearing Bears stuff all the time. Teachers were wearing it. All the students were wearing it. Um, people watched Bears. People were pretty Bears crazy and um, you know, took a lot of pride in the Bears back in the 80s. And obviously leading up to that Super Bowl in 85, and I, I just graduated and was, was gone away at college at that point, but uh, it was a big deal, a real big deal. All the local gas stations around here gave away Bears things and Bears posters and uh, Bears mugs and cups and whatever, all the grocery stores. I still have some of those posters stuck away in the attic. As the NFL season approached the end, so did the college football season, as the prospect marching knights were asked to march in the Rose Bowl Parade. It was a big deal. I mean, the newspaper came, and our, you know, we were all over the newspaper. We were on the news, um, and that was the first time that the band was asked to go to that parade. Now they've gone a second time, but it, it was a big deal. I mean, lots of different networks were here, you know, covering, you know, that we were going. From an all-time high, emotions were like a roller coaster, and dropped hard after the Challenger exploded. I was in the cafeteria just sitting there and a teacher brought in a rolling television, so a cart with a television on it and said, hey, if you guys want to watch the Challenger take off, um, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and watch. And so we're all sitting there and the teacher's there with us watching and all of a sudden, you know, it blew up and we're all like, what just happened? Like we didn't understand at first. And all of a sudden the teacher started going, um, like she could tell what it, what happened. And then she's like, oh my goodness, like you guys, the it just blew up. And the you could hear a pin drop in the cafeteria. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th space shuttle mission and it has cleared the tower. Arlington is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. One minute, 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. The Challenger's explosion led to a boost in technology that was even implemented at Prospect. We had a typewriter. Yeah, instead of, our class was called keyboarding. And so, 
we were learning how to type on these, which in computers were not really um, as prevalent, nearly as prevalent as they are today. Uh, teachers who were using them were just kind of playing around. I'm proud to be a Prospect, right? We have a great community. Prospect was a great experience for me. 